Hello everyone, my name is Christine. Welcome to Friday Sews. This is Christine Sews A Lot where I talk about sewing garments for myself, those I love with the occasional bag and home decor item thrown in for good measure. If you want to find other sewing vloggers, you can search the YouTube search bar for Friday Sews. It is a great community. And as always, I will link everything and everyone I talk about in the description box below. Now the description box looks a little different these days on YouTube. Under the frame of this video, there's a title and you'll see the word more and you can click the little arrow next to that and that'll expand the description box and that's where all the information is. So let's get into it. I did not do a lot of sewing since the last time we spoke. I made an Evelyn skirt to take on vacation with me and I'm going to wait for my review, vlog, and collab with Emma from So Do It Emma to talk about that skirt and show you. I do like it. The other thing I sewed was the day before I left town, which is probably not the best idea in the world. I was in one of the local fabric shops picking up some best press and I spied this fabric by the register. It said, Christine, Christine, pick me up. This is an art gallery fabric and as you can see, I have cut into it. I picked up the boat and there was not a lot of fabric left. This is Fleet and Flourish. It is an art gallery fabric. It is a cotton. I really love art gallery fabric, all of it, but the cottons are so nice. They do have some drape to them and they're joy to sew. So I saw this, I picked it up, I touched it, I admired it, I fell in love with it. There was not a lot of this, but I bought some anyway. I made my granddaughter a romper using the Taylor Romper Pattern by Children's Corner. I adore this pattern and I have a sew along detailed tutorial for this pattern. I'm going to link it in the end cards and also in the description box below. This is my most viewed, most popular video that I have in my library. So anyway, I fell in love with this fabric. I knew that I only needed two thirds of a yard of the main fabric, two thirds of a yard of lining fabric. It takes an hour and I can have something super cute. I'm going to insert a photo here because I have already given this romper to my granddaughter. Matter of fact, I sewed it the day before vacation, put it in an envelope, addressed it and then mailed it when we got to Cape Cod. So the Taylor Romper by Children's Corner, love that pattern. So easy yet so cute. Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room puts together a list of questions for Friday sewing vloggers. It's optional and there's a new question each week. Very often I forget the question. This week I'm a little better prepared. And the discussion question is, what is your favorite type of thing to sew? Maybe it was garment. What is your favorite thing to sew? My mind immediately went to a dress because that's my favorite thing to wear. But I reflected, the question was, what is your favorite thing to sew? And without a doubt, my favorite thing to sew is anything that while I'm sewing it, I'm enjoying it so much that I'm not thinking about the time going by and definitely something where nothing goes wrong. And it doesn't have to be an easy pattern. It could be something complicated, but where nothing goes wrong and I just have a good time sewing it. That's my favorite thing to sew. What is your favorite thing to sew? And you can interpret that question however you want. Let us all know in the discussion below. While I was on the Cape, 
I did some thrifting and I must say I showed remarkable restraint. Actually, I was only restrained because we didn't have a lot of room in the car. Otherwise, I would have gone nuts. Thrifting at the Keep is fantastic. There's so much really good stuff and the prices are great. I know some Florida-based Friday sewists who would really go bonkers thrifting at the Cape. So let me show you what I got. So first thing I wanna show you is my jar of buttons. These are mostly clear, there are a few colored ones, and a lot of matching buttons in this jar, this jelly jar, 25 cents. I could not resist. I also want to make the so-so death shirt for my husband, Charlie. I saw Adams from Adams Sews. I will link it below. I uh, Adams and I thought Charlie needs this shirt. So I got that jar of buttons. I also picked up, let me show you, this little bag which contains two packages of twill tape. There's white and black. I paid a whopping 25 cents for this twill tape. So I spent 50 cents when I went thrifting. I do enjoy just looking at things even if I don't have room in the car. You never know what you're gonna find. So while I was on the Cape, I went through my Aunt Mary Lou's button jar. Aunt Mary Lou brought out a new large button jar that I had not been through. And I picked out, as you can see, a large jar of buttons. So I'm looking forward to using these buttons and clothing. And every time I do, I'm going to say, thank you, Aunt Mary Lou. I have some sewing aspirations for tomorrow. I'm going to call them aspirations rather than plans because I don't have a ton of time. I would love to make a matching set, the hyssop blouse in the Evelyn skirt, and I think that would work well as something I could dress up a little and wear to church or dress it down and wear it when I knock around town. We'll see if I have enough time to do that tomorrow because I would like to wear it on Sunday, but we'll see. I have a review of the Hyssop blouse, which I will link down below. It is a deer and doe pattern. I wanted to mention a few YouTube things while we're here chatting. The first thing I wanted to mention is that if you film on your phone, they're gonna be struggles. <laughs> Inevitably, you're gonna run out of memory and that is gonna cause other problems. Recently, Emma from So Do It Emma had filmed a very detailed sew along for the hyssop blouse. Her files were corrupted because she ran out of memory. She couldn't upload it, she couldn't save it. And she put hours and hours and hours of work into putting together that tutorial for all of us. So if you can go over to Emma's channel and show her a little love, I would appreciate it and I know Emma would. It has happened to me and it is real. Since starting my YouTube channel about a year ago, I have truly discovered how much work it is to put together a single video. Tutorials and sew-alongs are many times more work and hours invested in them. I do know that Emma's going to refilm her tutorial and she's going to save it in batches and upload it in smaller chunks. She would have liked to have done it in one big chunk, but it's just not possible with the equipment she has. So keep your eye out on Emma's channel if you're not already following her, which you probably do anyway. The other YouTube thing that I wanted to mention is that I have noticed on my channel in particular that sometimes there are comments that are spam or phishing in nature. And in particular, I wanted to talk about those random comments from men. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? Those kinds of things. Now, I'm not talking about Adam who I love dearly. I'm not talking about our sewing male friends. I'm talking about these rando 
ones. I do try to delete those comments as soon as I see them, but if I miss them, if you could message me or let me know in the comments, I'll try to go and clear that up. On the whole, this is a great wholesome community. Occasionally we get those comments. Frankly, this is more on Instagram than on YouTube, but the inner risk manager in me felt like I needed to come and say something about this. It is Friday evening, so I'm gonna end this here and hope that you have a joyful week and find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye.